North Korea's most unbelievable loss. <laughs> now, the one thing we can say is, I mean, no matter where you live, uh, America, South America, Africa, at least you don't live in North Korea. Bro, I heard there was a law that like, knows from the interview, bro. Is it true that like, if you say Kim Jong-un poops, you go to jail? Is that true? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was real. <laughs> Isn't there a law in North Korea where you have to have a set hairstyle selected by the government? I didn't even know that was true. I could barely pick out like a hairstyle when I when I used to go to the barbershop. I cut my hair right now. When they had like the 32 haircuts, you ever see like the posters like 32 haircuts and you gotta pick? Nah, bro, I could never do that. I would eventually just get too confused and just tell them do some sh Anyways, let's get to the video. There's an eerie silence in the stadium as a 17-year-old boy is pushed onto the playing field in a squeaky mm. wheelchair. His mother, among a crowd of about 10,000 people, is holding back tears. With 10, his mouth gagged, he wriggles around in the chair, just as three soldiers point their machine guns at him. Nine shots are fired. His chest explodes. There's a collective gasp in the crowd, then silence, followed by frantic, rapturous clapping that lasts 10 whole minutes. And let me guess, the little boy said, Kim Jong-un does poop. It has to be what it was. It has to be what it was. 10,000? Imagine getting executed like that in front of 10,000 people. Man, that's just embarrassing. Imagine the wall. I'm really thinking like, I'd just be like, man, I'd honestly be more embarrassed if anything if that happened. I'm like, that's crazy. I mean, I'm dying, but damn, in front of the host too? Can you imagine being in that crowd, being the parent of the victim, a spectator expected to clap? Sounds crazy, but this North is life Korea in North canceled? Korea. I don't so think North Korea is going to get canceled. What young man done to deserve nine bullets in the chest? The answer is K-pop. Yeah, South Korean pop what? music. What? We know it's criminally bad, but come on. Being a fan shouldn't warrant an execution. The Supreme Leader, Kim Jong-un, doesn't like K-pop. Well, I mean, I guess I would be good there then. I guess I would be good there, shit. He hates it, in fact. He says it's evil. He also believes that what? South Korean soap operas and American pop music corrupt North Korea's youths. And he Oh, never mind. I, I wouldn't be good there. <laughs> uh, can you imagine? Imagine they got, like, a line of, like, Swifties. Like, put them in line, like, as torture in North Korea. Make, like, play, like, Taylor Swift songs and have them try not to, like, recite the lyrics. <laughs> hey, if they did the same for me, but with, like, Kanye, I probably would have folded, too. To be honest, I probably would have folded. It's foreign pop music and foreign hey, dramas fire, though. I never because said it they show North Korea's reality listen to it, though, they're not allowed to see. In 2021, it was reported that Kim Jong-un had lost the plot where this was concerned. That year, he mm. pushed into law new rules about what content people could Literally and could not watch. Movie? Pretty much meant they were allowed to watch North Korean propaganda and nothing else. It meant that dancing mm. to the music of Girls' Generation or watching an episode of The World of the Married could get you killed. We aren't exaggerating. Some teenagers were recently executed for just watching Squid Game. It was revealed by what? activists that foreign content had been coming into North Korea via the town of Haisan, which is an important trading hub with China. The problem with this proximity is tons of illegal content was getting across the border, as were such things as mobile phones. North Korean security- The fact that they even have to worry about that, like- Just having a simple other phone from like another country or like having a poster of somebody. <laughs> hey, count your blessings, guys. Yeah, count your blessings. Services got busy Can hunting this crazy? content down. When they found it often on teenagers, the kids were sometimes executed, sometimes in front of their classmates, sometimes in front of their parents in stadiums, as you've just heard. So, crazy law number one, death for listening to pop music and watching silly dramas. The regime calls them anti-socialist and non-socialist. They're really strict about it these days. A North Korean NGO- How is it anti- wait, what? Anti-socialist? I don't even- I don't even know what that means. ...said in 2019 that it had discovered- I wonder what knockoff iPhone North Korea got? North Korea. People were shot down in public schools, stadiums, markets, and rice fields, with the Damn. crime being anything from watching a foreign soap opera to stealing someone's cow. A defector said that when he was in a prison camp in the 2000s, he and about 80 other inmates were forced to watch three women being executed. They'd been charged with having ideas about running off to China. So one law in North Korea could be said to be the first rule about North Korea is you do not talk about North Korea. Not to anyone else anyway. Yeah, I feel like anybody could be your aunt. Like imagine your best friend for like like your whole life you just mentioned like yo let's 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 low-key dip like i'm not trying to be here and they just snitch on you for like some government money <laughs> that's the things they got to do there 
We explain later what happens if you have the audacity to make an international phone call. The executions are almost always by firing squad, although there has been the odd hanging now and again. Usually the victims are lined up. Three soldiers do the shooting, firing off three rounds. One defector said he'd seen it happen. He noted that the soldiers were upset about it. He said they were drunk. Maybe they can only go through with it after some booze. As you know, the regime hates the outside world, or rather they fear the outside world. That means anything associated with the outside is treated like a virus that could spread easily within their perfect society. This is why schoolgirls have been sent to do hard time in mines in the countryside just because they tried to sound like South Koreans when they sang. Kim Jong-un has said that anyone- Okay, I, I obviously don't understand- I <laughs> I don't even understand like Korean at all, but is there that much of a difference between like North Korean and like South Korean language? Like, isn't it basically, shouldn't it be like damn near the same thing? How would that even be? How would they even detect that? That's some bullshit. Like you're singing in a wrong affliction or you're, you're the one of the words enunciations a little off and they're like, oh, it's gotta get you. It is not the same accents. It, it can't, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just clueless. I don't know. Anyone mimicking South Korean accents can expect to be packed off to those mines where they might never return. Same goes for haircuts. Under no circumstances should North Koreans try and copy the hairstyles of the West or the rest of Asia. This is all they got? Or is this South, is this South Korea's? You might not have noticed it when watching videos, but everyone seems to have the exact same haircut. Not as true. Boys, girls, women, and men. You can see photos of good-looking women walking down the street, perhaps chatting on their local call-only mobile phones, and it seems as though they've all been reading the same fashion magazine. It's got nothing to do with personal choice. They have to look that way because if one of them decides to branch out and look like Ariana Grande, they might end up in the mines. Same goes for the men. That regime has approved just 28 hairstyles, but none Only of the- 28? Man, oh hell not. Nah. Hey guys, will they approve my 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 hair? <laughs> Yo, they see my shit. But, 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 but. As soon as they see me there, they're like this demonic disgusting creature. <laughs> this demonic disgusting. <laughs> them are what you might call risque. Men are told they should keep their hair short but never totally shaved. If it gets longer mm. than 5 centimeters, almost 2 inches, it's time for a cut. Flat tops, a North Korean favorite, are recommended. Women can grow their hair into a bob, but not very long. In no way can they have it really short. That would look too- But like, why give them the chopped haircuts out of everything? Like, their shit is just chopped. <laughs> and like, South Korea has like all the cool like, like K-pop stars and everything like that. Maybe they just have, they have something going, Kim. Copy him. Manly. What I just missed, not the real There was actually the a TV show in North Korea called Let's Trim Our Hair in Accordance with the Socialist Lifestyle. The show told the folks no. why they should follow hairstyle rules. Goes without saying that they don't want people to have any uh, sort of individuality. No. As the saying goes, if a nail sticks out, hammer it down. It's actually a Japanese expression and not too important now in that country, but in North Korea, it influences every part of society. Spiky hair, green hair, or messy hair does not adhere to socialist values, said the TV show. In one episode- But that's like the coolest hair! What do you mean so- Is North Korea a socialist country? 2005, a guy was dragged off the streets. His hair was all over the place. The TV presenter mm -hmm. said to the people watching, We cannot help questioning the cultural taste of this comrade, who is incapable Damn. of feeling ashamed of North his hairstyle. Indeed socialist? Can we expect I don't know a man that. with this disheveled mindset to perform his duty well? There was only one answer, of course. Still, an unsocialist hairdo won't get someone hard labor. Instead, when CCTV found such people with it's their like itinerant hair, hair, they were publicly shamed. They were reported at work and were ostracized by their colleagues. The viewers heard some scientific facts too, North Korean style. The presenter said long hair affects human <clears throat> it's intelligence not like your development streams. because it consumes a great deal Kim of nutrition. In, in if you have no access to decent books or the internet, how would you ever be able to refute that? It's the mm. same with clothes. People won't get the machine gun treatment for wearing the wrong kind of clothes, but they will be accused of having a bad ideological and mental state. Once that gets back to their boss, they'll be snubbed. I feel like if they put away any of these fits, they would definitely, especially, especially the f***ing, this nigga with the, with the dreads. They're packing him out. This, this goth looking girl, they're packing her out. This is, maybe this is more normal. I don't know. Their colleagues, the newspapers might make a meal of it, bringing I thought it was on more shame. A regime Totalerin? newspaper called Nodong Sinmun wrote that people's clothes show their cultural standards and mental and moral state. It explained no matter how good the clothes, if one does not wear tidy shoes, one's personality will be downgraded. 
we should say that there's a big difference between being a bit untidy Jay, really? to showing everyone you are totally into a Western or South Korean style. One could be blamed on laziness or unkemptness, but Western fashion following is sedition. One is harmless, the other is exceedingly dangerous. Human Rights Watch wrote in 2021 that a North Korean might be executed or sent to a prison camp, Kaewaso, for 15 years just hmm. for watching one episode of a South Korean soap opera. It also said that the new rules dictated that merely uttering a few words of South Korean even just to practice. At that point though, I'm like, I'm, do the citizens know about the laws? Because if I'm sitting there with these damn laws saying if I watch a Squid Game episode, I'm about to, I'm about to get executed, I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that at all. I am out of there. Oh, I said I'm out. Okay, well, I'm not. I'm not out of there because I, I, I can't leave if I'm a citizen there. I'm, I'm definitely cooked. But I'm, 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 I'm just not risking anything at all. Can result in two years of hard labor. There are reports of kids texting each other and using some words of South Korean slang. The sentence for that was three months of hard labor. In a letter mm. to the Tenth Congress of Youth League in 20. What if a kid like in in North Korea uttered the like words like skibbity or like Ohio or like any of that fuck tic tac cringe term? What would happen to them? Would they, would they even know, like, would Kim Jong-un know what to do at that point? Death sense? Exiled? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even disagree. You, you could just execute them. 21, Kim Jong-un explained why sense. he was coming GGs down on people them. so hard. Exiled. It was a long letter, so we'll just show you a few snippets translated into English. It starts off positively, saying, The faithful millions of young people have always been a fortress for our party, which is leading the revolution to a great leap, braving the worst ever challenges. These kids, mm. he said, should be at war against the capitalists. He said they should dress smart, speak well, and learn revolutionary songs. He said some do that, but others have been transformed by the malignant tumors of an anti-socialist idea coming from foreign lands. He was executing folks for listening to K-pop because they were bringing in dangerous poisons of outside influence. No. As we showed you in the intro, when the leader makes a speech like that, you're expected to clap like crazy, and we mean clap until your hands hurt. No, I be seeing that. I was about to say, I seen videos like that. They just, as soon as he, vicinity, he walks in the vicinity, everybody has to clap for like 20 minutes. My hands would have, would have, would have gave out, man. Wait, 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 peep this dude. Hold up, look at this. Peep this dude. This dude is damn, bro, this man is tired. This man is tired. He's stressing out. <laughs> I can see it in his face. People have been executed in the past for not clapping enough, for looking like they didn't care about Bro's the immortal terrifying. speaker on the podium. This is nothing new. It happened in the Soviet Union under Stalin. But you can imagine what would happen if you fell asleep when the leader was speaking, just as happens all the time in the West. Napping in British Parliament is the norm. There's no What? They do that? I've never seen a video of like somebody in Congress or like or anything like that ever sleeping. Actually, no, 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 okay, I have seen that. <laughs> Never mind, I cancel my statement, I have seen that, bro. What am I saying, bro? The average age of the f***ing Congress is like about the time the, Fred, or the, the Flintstones came out. When the Flintstones released, that's the average age of them. Official law for they this gotta get their North Korea, but they can easily accuse someone of being seditious or at least unpatriotic. It happened to the former defense minister, Hyun Dong Cho, who was usually a top-notch clapper. The state mm. gunned him down in 2015. Some people said the reason was he was caught napping while Kim Jong-un was speaking, but the real reason was likely that he'd just gotten on the wrong side of the leader. No official reason was given in the end, but Kim must have really hated him because this time, the firing squad used an anti-aircraft gun. It happened in front of hundreds of people at Pyongyang's Kangkong military shooting range. So that- What? Imagine a fat-ass missile, like, bro, probably- the size of my house hitting you, bro. That's like some. <laughs> that's like. <laughs> nah. <laughs> All it reminds me of is what's that company called from Akema or ACME from Coyote Road Runner? That's all it reminds me of. When I, I imagine he got like a big ass missile. He's like goo goofily laughing at that shit. He presses the fucking button. It doesn't work the first time. He has to press it more a couple times and then it hits him. It works the last time and then like the missile goes out. I imagine, I imagine it's like some goofy shit like that. Oh man, that's that's rough. That's rough. At least it went out fast though. He went, he went out pretty fast. That's another rule, or at least an unwritten rule. Clap when you have to, and don't be the first to stop. When the big Slight man is overkill. talking, don't you dare think you can catch 50 winks. This is serious. Hundreds of officials in the past have been executed when it was Cold thought that they were becoming slightly rebellious by not paying attention when they should. 
This next bit of information sounds so crazy, you'd think it was Western propaganda. You Talk already know you have to respect the supreme leader at all costs. In 2020, it seemed a woman living in Onsong County near China let that respect lapse for a few minutes when her house caught fire and her kids were stuck inside. As the flames tickled the sky, she rushed into the house to collect her screaming kids. She should have been celebrated for her bravery, but she was arrested. Guess why? The reason is, like in every North Korean household, there were portraits on the wall of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. Their rotund faces lit on fire as the woman concentrated on making sure her kids got to see puberty. The news somehow got back to the Ministry of State Security. Wait, it's because she didn't save the- No, they're different. They're different. <laughs> I'd be damned they ever did that here. I'd be damned they ever did that. <laughs> Likely through a snitching neighbor. The case was investigated and it was so Oh neighbor, what the f man? Oh neighbor, what it, what's even the point of doing that? The, the government, Kim ain't gonna f you, bro. Kim ain't gonna f you, his fat ass. You want his fat ass to f you? You know Kim's packing like a two inch anyways. Bro's a op, nah, that just pissed me off because a neighbor. That a political crime Kim might ain't gonna feed you facts. He's not gonna feed you and not the or portraits. your family. What's even more ridiculous is a farmer had rushed in to save the portraits, and while the woman was condemned in the media, he no. was hailed as a national hero. No. What's even more annoying is that the woman was jailed during the investigation, which meant that she couldn't tend to her hospitalized kids, who both had serious burns. The Daily NK, a South Korean newspaper, I'm writing about I'm surprised. North Korea. I'm surprised they didn't execute the kids. <laughs> Uh, I'll say this a little bit. It's a little bit of a step up for North Korea. Said that some neighbors wanted to help the mother buy the antibiotics for kids him. needed. I'm never visiting North Korea. You think I care? They thought they might Tag be charged with political crimes. A source told the paper the mother will be able to focus on caring for her children once the authorities end their investigation. The supreme mm. leader is kind of a divinity, which is why myths abound, such as the ground cracking apart and lightning striking when the last leader popped his clogs. It's said that he once hit 38 under par in 18 holes, the first time he ever played golf. The official state document said on the 7,700-yard championship course at Pyongyang, he hit 11 holes in one that day. Not too bad for 52 year old and five foot three in height on a course that most professionals would struggle to make. <laughs> Has part. anybody ever hit 11 hole in once? Has to be like two people ever. Two people ever. <laughs> they really be glazing on. This is the, the toppest, toppest tier of glazing. Like, this is main. He straight up manufactures the glazing. You have to glaze or you're gonna die. Like, I probably would have a crazy ego if I had people glazing me like that. I'd have a wild ego. Or only a god could perform such a miraculous in feat of sporting triumph. This is why in North Korea, if you mention the word Jesus or Buddha, you're in for one hell of a bad time. The country Damn. is not big enough for two gods. Only the Kims perform miracles. Gods have nothing on them. In 2014, an American named Jeffrey Fowle made the mistake of his life when he thought it was a good idea to visit North Korea while embracing the Christian tradition of spreading the word of God. This was about as- Okay, this dude's just like, I hope he's alive and everything went safe, but he's just a dumbass, bro. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? Out of all things to do, why are you even visiting North Korea in the first place? Hold on, why are you visiting, man? Why there is no point to visit? That's what I'm really thinking of. What is the point of even visiting? Out of all places, bro, you're gonna go to North Korea. As prudent as taking a bath while really holding brave, plugged in TV, it. it's one thing keeping your god theories to yourself in North Korea. Can't but this guy Korea. went into a restaurant called the Chongjin Sailors Club, and on mm -hmm. purpose he left a Bible in the restroom hoping someone would pick it up and later choose Jesus as their savior. Fowl was arrested and imprisoned. He appeared on TV later See, telling the folks gone. back home he'd been treated well. They always say that. You'll know why, soon. After five months, the North Koreans sent him back home, but with a warning. Keep your god in the USA. We don't want him here. He's persona non grata. Had Fowl not been Damn. used as a diplomatic bargaining chip, he'd likely have been executed or at least spent a few years doing hard labor. Around that same time, the American-Korean Kenneth Bay, an evangelical preacher, was sentenced to 15 years hard labor, also for spreading the good word. He surprised everyone when he told the West that his prison camp wasn't actually that bad. In an interview from North Korea, got he some said, yes, food people there. here are I don't think considerate, so. but my health is not in the best condition, so there are some difficulties. But everyone here is considerate and generous. We have doctors here, so I'm getting regular checkups. Still in 20... Uh, imaginary. I have a, imagine I have an imaginary hat. Cap. Cap. But you gotta say that. If you're in a, 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 a labor camp, I don't think you're getting checked by doctors. 15 North Korea. Unless if you're dead. You're gonna drop dead and then they'll check you. 
executed six North Korean people who'd been spreading the word of God. In 2011, a man named Kwang Yun Som and her granddaughter were blasted away by a firing squad in Osong County. Their crime what? was loving the Christian God and telling others how great he was. You can't even practice superstitious yeah. stuff in North Korea. Shamans have been executed, as have fortune tellers. Lots and lots of fortune tellers. You can give 20 bucks to the same people in the US and they'll tell you one day you'll meet an important person named Gary. Or was it Graham? Uh, that begins with G anyway. Perhaps that's exploitation, but it's hardly a crime. In 2017, it was reported that a 20-something-year-old North Korean woman had been telling folks about their life down the line, and she was later executed by firing squad in Chongjin. A news report at the time talked about how other fortune tellers had been arrested. It said one fortune teller no- Why are you- <laughs> What are you about a fortune- If you're in North Korea, are you about to tell people, like, what fortune telling is? Known as Hui Son, w was sentenced Long, to the 18 years hard labor in Onsong. While in Horyong, six fortune tellers remain under investigation no by living in North Korea. with rumors that they may also face execution. In 2019, the news said two young fortune tellers were executed by firing squad in front of tens of thousands of people, factory workers, students, and office workers, at a location in Hamyong's Chongjin City. Another person got life in prison labor camps because they'd been accused of superstitious activities. In another case, the condemned fortune teller had used a three-year-old and a five-year-old, saying they were possessed and so they could see an to the future. The media reported what? that people were starving and desperate, so they looked to anyone who could help, even a scammer who allegedly talked to ghosts. Each one of the fortune tellers was accused of anti-socialist behavior, which affected the preservation. See, she's just doing too- I don't know why you're doing all this. Uh, you're just doing way too much of social order. Now you might wonder what happens if North Koreans get on the phone with South Koreans and are told that their lives are actually terrible and that they live in a place of sheer madness where their brains are washed as often as their hands. If that happens mm. and the person is caught, they'll likely die. Many North Koreans have been executed for the crime of talking on the phone to someone outside the country. As we explained in another show- Wait, you can't- I swear you could do that. I, oh no, no, I think if you're a traveler, I think if you're a traveler, because I've seen videos of like travelers and then they'll call somebody back home. But maybe, okay, if you actually live in North Korea, yeah. I mean, you're not going to know anybody outside of North Korea if you live in North Korea. So no shit, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. North Korea runs a tight ship where the truth is concerned. Just one what magic power they think God Kim has. I mean, they think he can't poop. Like like in the movie, the interview, they said that. They think he shot, I don't know, 11 holes in once. They just think anything. They think he does, does miracles. Phone call to someone outside will likely get you executed, regardless of what's said. Remember the first rule of North Korea Club. In 2007, mm. a South Pyongan province factory chief was executed for this crime in front of 150,000 people at a local stadium. The giant lid on North Korea's can of worms was to remain closed. It does, for the most part, which is why most people go along with stories of their leaders attaining golf scores that would make Tiger Woods envious. But just a quick phone call to the South can undo such ridiculous lies. Another thing you're not supposed to do in North Korea is look at pornographic material. North Koreans might be living in a never world, but they're- Damn, bro. So if you were in North Korea, you would do the only way- You gotta get poom poom. That's the only way you experience it. There's no, there's no going on the hub, no going on this, going on that. Bro, y'all are saying W, but I guarantee, I guarantee half y'all after the stream, you're going to beat your meat. Half of the stream probably left to go beat their meat. It's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day, man. I know how y'all is. I know, I know, I know how y'all is. Y'all are leaving. Their brains work the same as everyone else where sex is Tommy, concerned. Stop like many of you guys and projecting. gals, they're suckers for images and videos of naked bodies getting down with a bit of coitus. It's said that while North Koreans mm -hmm. might not have access to porn websites and hustler-type magazines, people still share illegal videos of women dancing while wearing not so many clothes. The possession, distribution, and production of this kind of thing can lead to many years in prison, and even death. Yeah. New stories in 2021 told us about how a teenage boy caught watching porn got in big trouble. The stories don't explain how he was caught, but it's said when his parents were away at the house in North Pyongan province, the kid put on a video and indulged in the age- Don't tell me his parents snitched on him. Him for like some 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 points from Kim from Kim I swear if I hear the parents snitched for some points from Kim I'm gonna lose my mind I'm gonna lose my mind they better not if Joel tradition of the five knuckle imagine shuffle. dying this for trying to bust to be the socialist behavior truth is it tore at the threads of North Korea's tapestry of lies foreign porn exposes a different life even if it's just as terrible actors picking up horny svelte hitchhikers as per article 29 of the law the 15 year old kid was sent to a labor camp his parents and even his high school principal were also sent to the labor camp. More. The principal? <laughs> what the f? The pr <laughs> nah, bro, come on, man. What the principal do? 
The principal <laughs> just worked his job at the school. What, what is he supposed to do? He probably, he probably didn't even know the kid. You know, you know how many kids a principal has to manage in a school? I know the principal, when he saw that shit, he was like, damn, bro. I hate this shit, man. I hate this. I know he was mad. I know he was there like, why you say fuck me for it? Like that 50 cent meme. I would have been pissed, man. Oh, that kid. First thing I would have done, I'm gonna have to give you the beats, bro. I'm gonna have to give you the beats. That would have pissed me off. More and more pornographic videos or smut content death? on USBs have been making their way across the border from China of late. Kim Jong Un mm. says this is a threat to society and has cracked down on I thought they were teamed up with China. A Even bit. worse, some folks have had the gall to make porn in North Korea. Defector smuggled one video. Oh yeah, Kim is personally gonna execute you for that. Titled The Secret Story of the Republic out of North Korea not so long ago. Although the film isn't available online, we tried to find it. For research purposes, of course. Uh -huh, Kids right, have apparently been getting right. their hands on sexy CDs and renting them out in school, with reports saying such CDs were going for about 80 bucks in the past. That's a lot in North Korea. More recently, people mm. have smuggled content on Chinese bucks probably phones, like which, and with those, they can watch homegrown Chinese stuff online. The North Korean regime, as much as they hate it, seems to understand how natural it is. So usually, if someone's caught with just North Korean smut, they might get two to five years in the labor camps. The problem is when the porn is foreign, which means opening up that can of worms. Yeah, research. As you know, people get executed for watching South Korean dramas, so American or Japanese hardcore has a big no-no. As Article 1- Damn, they can't see no uh, uh, Riley Reid and, and Lana Rhodes. I couldn't relate, dog. I don't watch, I don't watch that stuff. 94 of the Conduct it's of Decadent Act says, A person who watches or listens to music, dance, drawings, photos, books, video recordings, or electronic mm. media that reflects mm. decadent, carnal, or Cap, foul I swear contents, I don't. I don't. or who performs such acts himself or herself, shall be punished by short-term labor for less than two years. In cases where the person commits a grave Damn. offense, he or she shall be punished by reform through labor for less than five years. This doesn't count for the regime's top officials. It seems those guys can beat their meat to the heart's content, or at least that's what some researchers said in 2017. They said deep within the highest offices at Pyongyang, top officials watched American porn sites, such as Pornhub. Those same guys were even- Ah, oh, they're gatekeeping it? Yeah, why are y'all gatekeeping it, man? Y'all gatekeeping. Man, they're lame as hell. Come on. Going on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, Can you me with no even videos? befriending yeah. some of you guys. You better use your imagination. Video. As for if someone in North Korea likes people of the same sex, well, that's actually not illegal. But it seems most people don't even have a concept. Honestly, that's genuinely surprising to me. I thought they would have immediately been like, "Nope, execution." <laughs> thought they would have immediately. <laughs> Let me keep playing it of homosexuality, even if they feel it in every inch of their bones. In 2015, mm. a guy named Ju Sung Ha, who had defected from North Korea after studying at its best university, told the New York Times- We had no idea what homosexuality- <laughs> I'm imagining them seeing a, a, a gay man for the first time and they're like, whoa, so the man likes another man? Damn, that's crazy, we never seen that. <laughs> Times about homosexuality, in my university only half the students may have heard of the word. Even then, it was always treated as some strange, vague mental illness affecting right, guys, some ready. humans, only found in the depraved West. Also in the Times, another guy said, I was too embarrassed to confess that I came here because I felt no sexual attraction to my wife. I couldn't explain what it was that bothered me so much, made my life so miserable in North Korea, because I didn't know until after I arrived here that I was gay or even what homosexuality was. So while Damn. there is no law that outright bans homosexuality, coming out would certainly be taboo, and we imagine might raise a few eyebrows. Article 193 talks- I feel like North Korea's on some shit where like, they're like, nope, you're a witch. <laughs> they're, they're gonna execute <laughs> no one them. Even though they said this, they're gonna execute. It's about decadent behavior, and it's speculated that a gay person could be charged with this, but it's hard to say. In totalitarian societies, laws are deliberately very vague. A gay defector named Zhang Yongjin said after he jumped the fence, he experienced more discrimination in conservative South Korea. Still, since homosexuality isn't even talked about in the North, it's unlikely there will be discrimination. Even the little things can get a person in trouble. Households are expected to be clean gonna send and tidy, people down? are absolutely expected to have pictures of their leaders on the wall, past and present. 
In some societies in the world that aren't even totalitarian but are authoritarian, pretty much every household has a picture on the wall of some ruler or monarch. Thailand was like this until the last king died, and people there still will argue with you until they're blue in the face that this was out of love and respect rather than a consequence of propaganda instilled in mm -hmm. them since they were just children. Reports say that- I didn't know Thailand was like- Thailand was a totalitarian dictator- or whatever, I can't say the word, I didn't know that. Portraits of leaders in North Korea have to be hung high, so they look down on the occupants of the house. The police do inspections now and again to ensure families follow the rule. If the pictures aren't there, or if they're dirty or hung in the wrong oh, monarchy? place, the adults okay. in the house can expect punishment. An investigation into their habits and opinions will try to ascertain if they're either bad socialists or just rubbish at looking after pictures. It's likely that if they're charged with something, they'll do some time in the mine, what? or perhaps just have to do the walk- Having some cobwebs and, and dirty- I'll be cooked. Damn, I haven't, I haven't cleaned the, I haven't touched the YouTube plaques or cleaned them since I put them up. I'm sure it's probably dusty as hell. Shame at work. The security services will, of course, interview Eating the kids. Eating a sandwich in Thailand could have gone you jail time. Filling their brains with the right thoughts. Nah. This must be a nerve-wracking time for the parents whose four-year-old might blurt something that sends mommy and daddy to an early grave. It could be something innocent, such as mm. mommy said Kim a bad man with dumpling face. This kind of thing would seriously affect the. F oh, nah. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine you got you got some kids. You're North Korean. Your kid does that shit. Oh, oof. nah, bro. Cause kids, you truly can't. You can't stop their mind. I'm I'm sure that's happened. I'm sure that happens. You can't you can't hold back of their words. Like kids will literally stare at somebody disabled at a McDonald's in a line like this. Like they'll just sit there like that. You can't. You cannot stop the kids from doing what they do. Oh man, I would be pissed. Family Songbun. What Social is this among us ass right? shit? Westerners don't often feel the wrath of the regime for acting or speaking out of line, but sometimes they do. Merrill Newman, an 85-year-old guy from California, made the mistake in 2013 of telling his North Korean tour guide that he'd fought on the wrong side in the Korean War. This was enough to get him arrested and later appear on CNN confessing his crime. On this trip, I can understand that in US and Western countries. Dude, you're like 85 or something. Why are you going to North Korea to visit? I'm assuming, I'm assuming Gramps, you know what I'm saying? You did your war time, man. I appreciate you, you're a veteran and stuff. Take your money and go to like, I don't know, Calabasas. Can't poop, go, go to anywhere else. A anywhere else. The Caribbean's an island somewhere. Anywhere else, Hawaii. Why are you going to North Korea? There is misleading information and propaganda about TPRK. Nah, they got he this later man said bowing. that he purposefully used awful grammar in that video so Her the folks back home would know he'd been forced to say those things. That's why everyone always says things are hunky-dory when they appear on the TV. They have to. Many tourists will tell you that North Korea is okay, the people are friendly, and all the talk of danger is overblown. But that only remains true if you don't break the rules. Man, I got lipstick you can on? soon be called a hostile, though admittedly you'd have to be stupid or willfully ignorant to break those rules. They're pretty obvious. This doesn't mean that the locals will hate you, even if you come from so-called imperialist America. One American returned from a trip and said to the press, I told them I was American and they were pretty interested and were asking me questions. They didn't seem to be intimidated by America or have any hatred toward America which was reassuring. Still, mm. break the law there, it's at your own risk. You might not see a firing squad like a local, but you might be sent back to the US looking rather under the weather. Now you need to watch the sister show to this one. Nor uh, I like your video, but I, yeah. Oh man, so yeah, that was a very interesting video. That was a good video. So, you know, let's be happy guys. Let's, let's count our blessings where we live and stuff like that. I'm saying you gotta be, be grateful of where you live. At least you don't live here. Unless if you do live here, then you wouldn't be watching this video. Let's be real. You live there, bro. You'd be dead. You'd be dead. So, um, yeah, that's really it. And if you're watching this on the tube, join the discord.